So you're still growing it then? I presume so. I left in a bit of a rush this morning, so I didn't ask. They have to be seen to be punishing me when Mum and Dad get home. Do you think they will? Come home? Yeah. Of course. Debbie, I've been expelled. Don't you think? Well, I've never actually been booted out of boarding school while Mummy and Daddy are digging holes in Timbuktu. Uh, Mozambique. Uh, right continent. But in my experience, I expect to be disappointed. They might just send you to another posh school. Ah. <laughs> ah! Look who I bumped into, immersing yourself in cafe culture. Shall I go straight to my room, or do you want to tell me off first? That won't be necessary. Have you eaten today? Yes, at the cafe. Well, there's plenty more inside if you wanted. Is there a reason why you're suddenly being nice? And is there a reason why Grandpa won't tell me what you guys were talking about last night? Uh, why don't we go inside a bit warmer, eh? Have they been in touch? Come on in. I'm absolutely fine where I am, thank you. So, have they been in touch and... And they're not coming home because something really important came up. And they just can't drag themselves away to deal with their annoying daughter. That's pretty much it. No, Jasmine. What, Grandpa? Are you going to defend them? No, I certainly am not. <sighs> Shall I tell you a secret? I didn't start that fire in school. I didn't even take the blame to him, friends. Sadly, it is because I am sick and tired of feeling alone. Being here with you, even with you being angry at me, is better than feeling like I don't exist. <coughs> That's okay. Yes. Not the act, but the fact that you should be driven to it. You mustn't think that you're alone, though, because you aren't. Sorry. Can't help it sometimes. I understand. But you can talk to me, tell me things. The vicars have to be good listeners, it's one of the rules. And there's Laurel, if you want to talk to someone... Younger? <laughs> I was going to say for your own gender, but yes, yes. <laughs> Laurel and I and Gabby, and your grandfather, of course. We all love and care about you very much. So why don't my parents? What's wrong with me? Your mother and father are very lucky to have you. And the fact that the need reminding of this reflects on them, not you. Thank you. I do like it here. We like having you. So why don't I stay? For good. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Your parents have asked that we find you another boarding school, but given the fact that you didn't start that fire... I could go locally. Um, hot and comp or whatever it's called. I mean, it must be good if they've got dads walking and talking like a semi-normal human. Don't I deserve some say? You said yourself you like having me here. Jasmine, I'm afraid my hands are rather tied. Just the same as them. You don't want me cluttering your life. Well, I am so sorry to be such a burden on you all. Nice speech about loving me and wanting me. Are you sincere? Jasmine! What was that about? Couldn't hear. It's probably leaving me the fair to Timbuktu. Not Mozambique then? <laughs> oh, no. Never dream of troubling my parents. You know, just when I think something good is gonna happen, something rubbish does instead. Hmm. Been there, done that. Pardon me. I was forgetting you have the monopoly on teen angst. <sighs> We'd be better off on our own. Agreed. I mean it, Jazz. What's to stop us going somewhere? You and me, you mean? Yeah, why not? I could get a job. I don't care what it is, as long as it pays, all right? And you could find a school, you swat. Why don't you do that for me? Of course, you're a mate. We could get a flat. <sighs> oh, that sounds perfect. You know, nobody's shouting to, to turn the music down. We could play what we want as loud as we want. The Crips, Kanye. Gwen Stefani! <laughs> With Debbie? 
hardly think the Dingles can accommodate you. They won't have to. That's not what I meant. Debbie and I are going to get our own place. Hang on a minute, darling. No! I'm sorry, Grandpa, but it's obvious I'm just a nuisance to everyone. Debbie feels the same at her house, so that's what we're going to do. Jasmine, sit down and let's talk. About what? Jasmine, please. Come on. I'd rather you didn't go to live with Debbie. I'd rather... We'd all rather... You stayed here with us. Until you find a new boarding school for me. I don't think the Tate boarders are hot and comp. Although, it must be pretty good if they've got Daz walking and talking like a semi-normal human. Ashley! Please tell me I've not misunderstood. No, you haven't. You're staying here. And if your father wants to argue about it, he can argue with me. With all of us. <laughs> become quite a fixture in our lives yeah. and we'd hate to see you leave. Thank you, Ashley. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've just made someone very happy. It was the right decision. Thank you for helping me realise it. Luke might not agree, but that's a problem for another day. Quite the extended family, aren't we? Well, a toddler, a teenager, a wayward pensioner, and, uh, oh, <laughs> a batty wife. You do realise that peace and quiet have gotten the bus and they've gone forever, don't you? Yes, I do. Good riddance.